Hi folks, this is Max from 1xroot.com. Today we're going to go ahead and uh, um, basically uh, unroot our phone back to uh, the latest 2.20. This is an unrooting, unbreaking instruction for your phone. If you have your phone rooted, if you don't have it rooted, um, you can also do this to get it back to completely stock. Um, so first thing we're going to do is go ahead and turn our phone off. All right, And the first thing we're going to do is actually make sure uh, we're... Uh, our bootloader is relocked. If it's not, this um, this is not going to work. And also, we'll be using Windows computer uh, for this method. So go ahead and turn your phone off. And uh, when it's turned off, hold down the volume down and the power button together. And this will bring up the fast boot. All right. Give it a second here. And uh, keep holding down the volume down, but uh, let go of the power button. If it doesn't work, just kind of hit the power button again, and then just let it go. And then when you see that, just let everything go. Um, once you are here, put it into fast boot mode. So go. Yours probably most likely says unlocked, um, and we need to relock it. Don't worry about the tampered. And go to fast boot. All right, and then connect it to your computer. All right, and then let's go to our computer. Next, you'll need a um, you'll need to download fastboot.zip. Uh, if you unzip the files, um, you'll get a bunch a folder called fastboot. Um, try to name it as fastboot inside. See, it'll be under your downloads folder, fastboot. With all the files you need, uh, the fastboot and the uh, fastboot files. So next, go ahead and open up a command terminal. Um, go to start type type cmd in the search bar. This will give you a uh, command prompt there. And we're going to zoom in here real quick and type cd space downloads. All right. And then we're going to type cd space fastboot. All right. Next, we're going to type fastboot oem lock. This will lock your uh, bootloader so you can flash the RUU. If you already have it locked, you can actually skip all of this step if it says uh, relocked or locked um, in your bootloader. But most likely, if you have a, a custom ROM installed and root it, you'll probably need to do this. And there we go. That that will lock it. And let's let me change the camera angle again. Next, your phone will reboot. Um, and uh, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to put it back into fast boot mode. So go ahead and turn it off again. And uh, let's double check that it's relocked. If it's not, you can always do this again. And uh, it actually said failed um, when I tried to lock it, but I'm um, usually it it works even if it says if it failed. So let's just go check it, and it should now say uh, locked. So go ahead and hold down the volume down and the power button, and then when your the LED flashes, just let go of the power button. Oops, no. Try again. Hold down volume down and the power button. Sorry. It's a little bit tricky with this phone. And then let go and hold it down again. And you're you're still holding down the volume down. You'll get it eventually. There we go. Oh, I missed it. Do, do you see that? I gotta let go. So I'm gonna hold down the Okay, let's do this. Volume down the power button, hold it down, and boom. There you go. Alright. It'll take a couple of tries. You should be able to get into it uh, eventually. So now it says relocked. So if you're relocked, you're all good to go. You can run any RUU. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and reboot. Uh, I'm going to choose fast boot there. And I'm just gonna simply going to reboot. And let it reboot, and I'll be back. All right, once you your phone has rebooted, uh, simply plug it to your computer. And you can also be on any kind of custom ROM. You don't have to be on a stock ROM, even though I am, um, because the RU will, will probably erase everything. Also, this is probably going to erase everything, so do make a backup of your internal storage. Um, you know, if you're going to back up your apps, use Titanium Backup app to back up your apps, and then back up your whole internal storage. And also, you know, if you made a backup ROM, um, you know, that will save everything also. Uh, there we go. Once it's connected, um, set it. Make sure it's on charge only. And we're going to go to our computer and run the RUU. Next, we're going to go ahead and uh, run the RUU. You should have downloaded this. Um, if you didn't, just download it. It's about 580 megabytes. 
download it. It's an .exe file. Double click to run it. Say yes. And this will run the the RUU, and it's pretty much automatic. Hey, there's my dog. Over there, right there. She's so cute, huh? <laughs> um, there you go. Focusing on the dog. Sorry, I'm getting off track here. So let's go back here. Once this window comes up, just click on it. Um, click next. Click on it. Uh, click next. Sorry, my 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 window just keeps pulling to my other window or my other LCD over there and then also updates this is gonna update my 1.73 or whatever you have even works on custom ROM and uh, it will get you back to uh, the latest 2.20 alright this is also um, 1.73.2.20 alright say next and click next also, if if you weren't able to, let me let me switch the camera angle here, because it's that thing won't switch over to my other window. Also, if you if you end up in a boot loop or something, then um you know if you can't even boot your phone up, just put it in fast boot to, and you can run this RUU and it'll be the same thing. Uh oh, uh, for some reason I got an error, so let me go ahead and run it again. You know what? Let's run it on that screen so. If you get some kind of error, um, that's most like no. Sorry, I'm getting confused here. Like I said, if you end up in a boot loop and you want to recover your phone, you can still do it. You just have to put it into fast boot mode when you run this, and it should be all good to go. I'm gonna run it again because it's kind of um, it uh, flunked out on me. There, my phone is actually saying HTC right now. Uh, but I think it's it should be fine. There you go, update, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to run this RUU. Go have a smoke. Uh oh. Hold on, I'm getting errors here. So uh, before you run it again, try to kill that process, the ACC one blah blah um, in Task Manager. I'm gonna try to rerun it. I think that was trying to. I'm gonna kill all that flash player too. It could be you know it could be uh, interfering. But it should work. Um it was working earlier so um <coughs> <coughs> if you didn't have an error you should be all good to go but I think it's because I ran the RU twice and I, you know it was still still um in the memory of the computer. Or you can try rebooting your computer and run it again. Uh, but this should work now, and <laughs> no more of this restarting. And here we go. Crossing my fingers, I don't get that weird error. If you have trouble, you can always try another on another computer, of course. And uh, here we go. Come on. And next, going through the motions and checking. And this is where it messed up. Now it's rebooting to bootloader. Boom, now it's working, I think. So I'm going to fast forward all, the, all of this. Um, and uh, it should be fine. It, it should start working and recover my phone. And if you get any errors during this, it could be because you're if you're using a USB hub, don't use a USB hub. Connect it directly to a port on your computer. And also, you can try another computer. Um, but I gotta replace the battery on my camera here. And I'll fast forward all of this. Hi right, folks, so it is done, and uh, here we go, and 
and uh, it says finished so no worries let me change the camera angle to show you it's all done there we go um the uh, actually the uh, RU left me in the fast boot mode and you'll see that it's relocked that's all good to go um there's actually no way before it, there used to be a way but now I'll say it relocked that's fine uh, for returning your phone for warranty don't trip out um, because they don't usually actually even boot to that the only thing they check if you return your phone for warranty uh, or you for a refund or whatever they only check for uh, hardware uh, any water leaks um, you know see if you in, uh, intentionally like you know threw it against the concrete or you know if, if you intentionally put it in the water as long as they don't um, they see a stock ROM usually they'll, they'll take it back or they'll, they'll take it back so that's the only thing you can do relocked so don't worry about it just take it back you shouldn't have any problems so long as you have a stock ROM installed so I should be on the latest 2.20 and uh, that should be it and this is how you unroot unbrick your AT&T 1X um, back to uh, stock and also you can do this if you have like a 1XL um, you just it's the same steps actually you just have to find the right RUU um, just go Google RUU for your uh, 1XL um, all, also should work for 1X also so you know you just have to relock it find the RUU uh, and then you know just run it and there we go let me see if I, if that actually erased all of my apps and stuff um, yeah I think it well it erased my settings and stuff but let's go see if it erased my photos and videos um, I don't think it it would have but um, who knows we'll, we'll go check but I told you to back it all up just in case anyways that's why just in case um there we go and uh, we should have a fully unrooted stock ROM on the latest 2.20 and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make an make a rooting instruction for this that's why I was unrooting back to completely stock alright and there we go hello okay alright so let me go see uh, some of my let's go to gallery and see if my apps are there and stuff let me go to my gallery and oh you know what it didn't erase the contents of my um because I still have all my photos Ooh, that's good Ooh, those are all the photos I took at uh, some festival I was getting so high on Android like a couple months back anyway um so I've got it all back it's back to root it uh, if you're gonna return your phone for warranty don't forget to delete all the photos and videos all the all of it in your internal storage by connecting to your phone and uh, I'm gonna have to go reroute it now and re unlock my bootloader. What a long day. Um. Anyway, there you go. Uh, I got it on 2.20 ICS, and that's how you do it. And if you like this video, as always, don't forget to hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button up there if you have. Thanks a lot. And if you have a One X, um, AT&T One X, uh, the the International One X or the International One XL, don't forget to sign up for my email list at. Uh, OneXGroup.com, we update you once a week with round of the week tips, hacks, and more. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your phone. And uh, thanks again. Stay high on Android. Now you can go return your phone. It will still be relocked, but like I said, they're not going to check for that. Just make sure you didn't intentionally put it in the water or threw it against the ground. All right, see you all later. Stay high on Android.